guys, it's Christina, and today we are gonna be making a fully raw cherry cheesecake. This recipe is dazzling. It is spectacular. It is creamy, sweet, delectable, and delicious, and it will satisfy all of your sweet tooth cravings. This recipe is perfect to share with family and friends, especially since cherries are in season. So go ahead and get loaded with fresh picked cherries and let's make some cherry cheesecake. Do you have a sweet tooth? Let's put a cherry on top. For this recipe, you will need a food processor, a juicer, and a blender if you have them. And if not, then a high-speed blender like a Vitamix will work just fine for all of the steps. You will also need a cheesecake pan or a pie pan and a beautiful dish to put your cheesecake on when we are done. We are gonna be making this cheesecake in about five very simple steps. The first step to making this cheesecake is making the crust. And this crust is nut free and of the perfect consistency. For this crust, you will only need three ingredients. You will need approximately two cups of mulberries, approximately two and a half cups of dried figs, and about one and a half cups of dates. If you want to add any cinnamon or vanilla in this crust, it only makes it a little bit better. So when you're ready, go ahead and add all of your ingredients into your food processor, turn it on, and watch crust happen. So when you're ready, you are going to be left with this absolutely crumbly, gooey, and perfect crust. So when you're ready, go ahead and take this crust, push it into your pan until you are left with the whole bottom layer covered. Step one, complete. You now have your pie crust. Next step is optional if you want your cheesecake to be lower in fat, but you don't have to necessarily do this. Because I'm gonna be making a creamy banana cheesecake filling, one of the main ingredients that I'm gonna be using is cashew milk. If you don't want to use cashew milk, then you can just throw in the whole cashew and it will make it a lot thicker, it will make it a lot creamier, but it will also make it more fatty. By using cashew milk, you are reducing the amount of nuts that you're using in this recipe. For the cashew milk, what I've gone ahead and done is I have soaked my cashews in coconut water, or you can soak it in pure Evermore water if you want to do that as well. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a ladle and I'm simply gonna run it through my juicer and make cashew milk. Ready for the next step? Here we go. So when you're done, step two, you will have approximately one to two cups of fresh and sweet cashew milk. So step three, we are gonna be making the cheese for our cheesecake. Now keep in mind, there's no actual animal products in this recipe. So for this cheesecake, we are gonna be using approximately seven to 10 ripe frozen bananas are two cups of cashew milk, a little bit of cinnamon, and just a pinky of vanilla bean. And this is going to be like an ice cream consistency, but because we're adding in the cashew milk, it's gonna make it thicker. If you want it to be even more thick, feel free to add in an extra few cashews just to make it really, really, really cheesy. So when you're ready, you are gonna be left with something that looks and almost tastes exactly like Vanilla banana ice cream. It is creamy, it's milky, and you could probably eat it just like this if you wanted a really great ice cream recipe. But we're gonna take it to the next level and we're gonna add in a cherry swirl. And you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna pour this mixture on into a mixing bowl of your choice. And then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put it into the freezer to set up a little bit while we make our cherry swirl. And now for our cherry swirl, we first have to make our cherry glaze. I have gone ahead and I have pitted approximately three pounds of these delicious red ruby cherries. And I've gone ahead and I've pitted approximately one and a half cups of dates. And when you're ready, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna blend as many cherries as we can with our dates and we are gonna make a cherry glaze. 
Uh, uh, I'm bleeding. Uh, I'm just kidding. It's just the cherries. <laughs> this, this, my friends, this is the most heavenly part of this whole cheesecake. This is my favorite part. This is the cherry glaze. All right, I have to try a little bit of this. You ready? Mmm. Mmm. We're gonna take our banana cheesecake out of the freezer. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our bowl and our cherry glaze, and here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna pour it on over, and then I'm gonna swirl it in to make our cherry swirl banana ice cream magical dazzling sparkling cheesecake so after you've mixed in the cherry and swirled it in just a bit scoop it into your pie so take what's left of your cherry glaze and you're literally just gonna pour it on top oh yeah Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to razzle dazzle you. This is the fully raw cherry swirled cheesecake. Yum. This is absolute perfection. It is sweet, succulent, delicious, and I know that you will absolutely love a slice of this fully raw cheesecake. If you guys want to give this cheesecake a try and if you want to slice all to yourself, then I think you should give this video a thumbs up. If you guys want more tips, tricks, or recipes on how to go fully raw, please subscribe here to Fully Raw Christina as we have fun in the kitchen celebrating this lifestyle and making delicious desserts together. If you guys want to follow me daily, you can also find me on Facebook, Pinterest, Instagram, and Twitter, all at Fully Raw Christina. All right, you guys. I'm gonna go and enjoy a humongous slice of this cherry cheesecake and I hope that you get to go and do the same. Sending you all my hugs and my love. Bye. This is my jar of cherry blood. Cherry blood. Mm. So does that make me a fully raw vampire? Mmm. Mmm, <laughs> lipstick. <laughs> I don't mean to.